All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mitch Bolo back in the studio for Indigenous Insights. Joining us today from the Kiwana Bay Indian Communities Tribal Council, we have Mr. Rodney Lunsfoot. Welcome back to the show, Rodney. Bonjour. Good morning, Mitch. Good morning, Kiwana Bay. Glad to have you here once again. You have some exciting announcements for us here today, right? For sure. I got a couple of things um, that I'd like to share with you. Um, in particular, right now, we want to talk about snow snake. Snow snake. Uh, snow snake. Uh, for those of you that we uh, remember a couple of times we had done this at the Power Grounds and then up at the uh, Niwaniki on yep. the side of the snow bank. And uh, Zena Pitsley and Marty were the, our snow snake champs back then. So I'm kind of, I just realized I'm going to kind of call them guys out right now and to see if they're going to participate. I mentioned this already too i mean they so, got to come defend the championship yeah, that's what i'm that's what i'm saying and that's why i'm here and uh, what i had wanted to share uh with our community today is that for this year our effort in snow snake is gonna um we kind of um gotten some help and some support and volunteers and so we are going to have a our snow snake workshop and races uh coming up here within the next few days that i wanted to share Okay. okay, so this is happening quickly. This is quickly. So over the next two days, over Wednesday and Thursday from 5 to 7 at the Niwinaki, we're going to make these little buddies here that we call snow snakes. It's oh, a, very it's cool. It's a piece of wood. It's crafted, um, shaved down and sanded and everything else. This is a kid's version. It's about four feet. Adult sticks that are probably about six feet. And so the idea, like bowlers know how you throw underhand when you go throw your ball. And that's kind of basically the same uh, uh, idea in throwing them. And the idea is to see who can throw them the farthest. Yeah. And what's really neat is that uh, um, for the little for these little guys, um, um, it, it is just so neat to see their smiles in their faces and things like that. But then with the adults, because the they're going to be quite a bit taller they're going to be at least six feet and then there's going to be a little bit more effort into it and more competition that's what i'm trying to uh, that's what i'm trying to step up here and so what we're going to do over the next couple of days like i said wednesday and thursday spend some time make these if you'd like to come on up the knee when a key uh make a snow snake you can take it home it's going to be yours kind of fine tune it put your waxes and this and that and uh sanding put all your effort and stains and paint them all up like snakes i i shared some pictures already you know what's already out there and i'll share some more but uh over the next two days we'll do that over there Okay, Get so, them already. so yep. tomorrow, Wednesday, 5 to 7, and Thursday from 5 to 7, families can attend the Niwana Care Center to learn to make snow snakes. What do they have to bring? And so what they'll have to do is that if you have, you know, some hand tools, it could be a uh, real simple files, a uh, rasp, if you have a uh, uh, um, sandpaper, if you have um, like a um, little palm sanders, if you have a little draw knife, so we, then we can actually, if you take a look, we're going to work on the blanks, but then it's going to take some work to do in all of the fine-tuning and that's what it's going to take the smoother so, the better the smoother the better and so the intent here is that once once we make our little snow snakes we wax them all up and then we all come together on sunday this sunday and this sunday it's this is quick and uh from two to four down right down vendor alley is where i made the snow snake track i could use some volunteers in the next couple of days 201-0064 is my number give me a call and we can go down and fine-tune that track that we're going to make um, and uh, that would be our our snow snake competition and what we're going to try to do. It's a fun game, and the idea is just to get outside and have fun. It's really, really neat. We're going to do this later on in the afternoon on Sunday so all the kids and their families can do the basketball games and all those other things, and so we can try to get some support um, on Sunday from 2 to 4 for snow snake. All right, so you want volunteers to get a hold of you ASAP so they can get their responsibilities? <laughs> yeah, so we can come down here and uh, we can help uh, do some shoveling and fine-tuning. We get, we have have two tracks okay. uh, one one is going to be right down vendor alley on a, on the side it, um, it looks real neat it's going that's well over 100 yards and i'm hoping someone can someone snake can go that far but then i also made another one for the little guys and Very you know cool. there it's maybe about 20 feet and we'll just carve it on an angle so that there's snakes that they make we want to make make sure that it goes from start to finish and so that the little guys can actually see that 
excitement and get that joy from being able to do something like that and being encouraged by everyone around um, yeah we'll have uh i'll be bringing a big old load of firewood if anybody wants to bring you know hot chocolate you know those you know drinks or coffee or you know um a pot of soup or something will be uh be more than appreciated for um our community event again a couple of hours on Sunday, this Sunday from 2 to 4. Now for the people competing, do you want them to pre-register? No, just uh, come on up here. Whoever wants to, even if we have to take turns, you know, uh, th- uh, throw in and, you know, sharing sticks and whatever we got to do, we'll, we're just going to have fun. And then towards the end, once everybody <laughs> gets all practiced up here, then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some neat um, little prizes or some little gifts or something for the winners that we can make. So that was one of the things I know I've got a few things I want to kind of throw in a pot uh, okay, for, very cool. for prizes for whatever we can do. Very good. What do you think? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The weather, oh, I got my goodness. forecast here, but it only goes till Friday. Okay. But uh, Friday, it looks like mostly sunny with high near 33 degrees. So, I mean, it looks like you might have some good weather for the weekend as long as that keeps going. I hope we don't have mush. <laughs> yeah, th- 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 would that be the worst weather for snow snake is that warm, <laughs> sticky snow? For sure. So I'm looking at here, and it's looking like 39 on Sunday. Oh, wow. So that's going to be kind of warm. And so the idea with the track, um, the um, how far they'll actually go, it works better, of course, in colder weather. <laughs> yeah, we got 39 here on <laughs> on Sunday, so we're just gonna have to improvise with the track a little bit to make sure that we can get that that fresh layer the, over the top of it. So yeah. then they'll actually go. Um, it'll um, go further. Gonna really have to give her. Oh goodness, I guess so. 39 degrees. I'm not complaining though. <laughs> yeah. So this is the snow snake season. I mean, other communities are doing this. I mean, these are big events in other communities. Do you see this? Do you see us kind of going intertribal with the snow snake eventually? Well, just a few weeks ago, over on Madeline Island, they had the winter, the uh, tribal winter games. Yeah. And they had all the snow snake. They had all kinds of different um, events and games. You know, community activities over there, which was really neat. And I think this was, if this is a uh, step one and going that uh, direction, um, um, queuing off of all the other things at NRD and what the community is doing and things. And so, yeah, we're, um, we're, we're, I'm looking forward to this community driven um, activities. Yeah. I mean, Snow working snake. here, working here at the station, you know, we just, we promote events and make them bigger. I can see this being a big thing. Snow snake having different classes for the different ages, all the different prizes, there you go. trophies. There you, having, go. there you go. Maybe a well-known known MC from Eagle Radio. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, we'll we'll cue all you up. <laughs> so let's let's go with the information one more time. Tomorrow 5 to 7, Thursday 5 to 7 show up at the KBOCC Newena KS Center here in Berga to make your snow snake. And then Sunday is the competition from 2 to 4. You said, right? You're right on. And that is at the powwow grounds here in Berga. Vendor Alley. Anybody can show up. Anybody can show up, uh, dress, you know, warm. Uh, we're going to uh, make sure uh, we have a good day. Bring some chairs. You can bring some of bring your own refreshments. Chairs. Yeah, yeah. We'll have a bonfire and all the rest of that. If you want to bring s'mores or hot dogs, whatever, let's do it. Very cool. What else is going on? You had some other things you wanted to mention. Well, sure. That was Snow Snake, me, Gwitch, there, and Mitch. And then uh, let me uh, kind of flip this over and share a couple of things that's been going on here. Um, we haven't uh, um, really put this out too much here, but on Sundays, on um, on Sunday evenings um, from 5 to 7 at the uh, New Winnikey, um we've been having drum practice. And my intent here is to be able to teach some singers and teach the young ones, you know, uh, the ones that want to any age to come around and drum and sing we've got four songs bring your recorder and the, this is what i want to be able to have a start up again on that sunday night cultural activity that so we're gonna we'll be singing on on sunday and, and we'll do that it just so happens to be like this time we're gonna have snow snake yeah. So so what I'll do is I'm thinking instead of having uh, drum practice on Sunday night, just um, bring the drum down to our Snow Snake event down there and there be you. able to find a fold that in there. Uh, and that would be great. And so every Sunday, 5 to 7, uh, open drum practice. It's open to men and women. You know, we're, we're going to work on that. Um, if you don't know how to sing, if you're real bashful and if you want to do this, this is what this is all about. We're going to uh, keep it real simple. And give them a chance to uh, teach everyone some songs. Very cool. Um, and then uh, also, I wanted to also mention uh, starting this Thursday, 
um, through the Office of Child Support Services and the judge and counsel, um, we are going to be um, starting the Fatherhood is Sacred program um, at the library from 1 until 3 on Thursdays. And what this is, is that the, uh, with the Fatherhood Sacred um, program is, is Al Pooley uh, created this opportunity to put some, some real, 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 real simple um, basic um, family dynamics about self-worth and concept and respect and these kinds of things and putting that sacredness back into those roles as mothers and fathers that we have to the best that we can. Because of all the things that's going on, um, um, what this does, this gives a real, real simple blueprint or, or template to to follow. Um, I've facilitated <clears throat> this before one time, and yeah. it went really, really well. I mean, I just uh, I just missed this, and it was just an opportunity for those families to reconnect. This yeah. is all volunteer, you know. That, that if you want to come, just twelve sessions. We're going to try to uh, try to take. Um, there's different elements of that we're going to do. We've got some really neat facilitators that are going to help us out some other council members and things so this is going to be really really neat uh, um, to be able to see um, the Thursday if you have any more questions you can get a hold of Don over at the Office of Child Support uh, over at Tribal Court um, or give me a shout and uh, um, if you have want some more information about that but what I really love here is that with the, um, the intent of the program is to focus on those responsibilities and sacredness of what our relationships are how we take care of ourselves and then how that rolls in into how we take care of our family yeah and you know it's really cool I mean it seems like you have a lot going on you have snow snake you have drum practice but then with the father of the sacred it, it ties it all together that's what you're talking about, getting your families, going to these different events, being together, celebrating our culture. It all ties together. Hoorah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, well, so thank you. Is that all you had to mention? Anything yeah, that else? was it. Actually, those uh, events, yeah, um, drum practice, and then also that fatherhood, motherhood, a sacred program. Um, I'd like to just, you know, um, um, maple syrup is coming. We got spirit and season going to be coming up. So this is a really fun time of year to do all of these things. We're going to want to... Um, um, consider those opportunities and look at what we can do to move forward so we can do lots i look forward to seeing you in uh um, the community out at the events and the things that we're going to be doing um for our community miigwech